so um yeah so i've kind of obviously I've introduced myself so i think that the, the idea behind this was that um that i wrote um, a blog post which essentially looked at ways of programmatically accessing the data and i think you know get, get whole kind of wanted me to come along and just run through that really quickly um just to see if anybody's got um you know if, if anybody could make use of it and kind of demonstrate the fact that opening data up in this way um you know has a potential to to really kind of save a lot of people's effort because the, the you know a lot of the effort is put within the government department and then you know in theory thousands of people can all, all make use of that so this is um, statistics.gov.scot. This is um, Scotland's official statistics site. And um, if I click on data here, um, then we can see you know, there's a range of data sets. But the one that we're going to look at is this coronavirus, COVID-19 management information. Um, I'm not going to go too much detail into the data set itself, but the basic principle is that there's a load of different uh, variables, different measures that they've got in there about ambulance attendances, people in ICU, um, they've got you know numbers of people tested, uh, numbers of staff who are absent from hospitals. Um, so it's really quite a big, rich data set um, broken down by um, country and health board areas. But the good thing about it is that you know we can browse the data in here and we can we can download it. So we've got a CSV download button here, um, which if we click, um, it will download a CSV file. Um, which oh, I don't know whether this is going to view now, right? Can you see that? Can you see it switch to Excel? Or are you still on? No. Yeah, I, mean, I think you just need to choose the window. So, okay. So I probably don't actually need to do that. So, but, so that the, this has downloaded a, a CSV file um, that contains a lot of the data. But what we're going to actually do is, instead of doing that, um, we're going to right click on CSV and we can copy the link address. And because this is a permanent link, um, to um, to our our kind of data set, we can do things like um, in Google Sheets. Um, so we can say equals import data and put this URL in here, um, and that will just go and go and fetch the data. So um, because this can fetch the data into Google Sheets, we're going to you know make some charts and do some do some things off the back of it, um, and we can set Google Sheets to automatically refresh. So if we want that to um, if we want that to update itself every minute, Scottish government publish stuff every uh, I think it's every day about about two o'clock in the afternoon. They update their data, um, so they release a statement on uh, gov.scot. So in a similar way to um, to the the English government do it, um, but they but because they publish the data as well, it's kind of instantly accessible in in kind of applications that you've set up to 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 do things like this with. Um, another way of dealing with this, I'm going to try and switch to, um, how do I switch to a different application? I go in here and let's have a look at, so this is, um, this is R now. So in, so R is a um, kind of a statistical programming language, I guess it is. Um, but the principle here is, is exactly the same um, in that we've got like a little script here. So if you can see the, the this sort of this panel here. We're doing some work to go and fetch the data. So you'll see that we've got that same URL in there. Um, so it's going to say, so we're saying using a, a particular package, we're going to go and grab that data, do some stuff with it. Um, so we're filtering um, by geography, we're filtering by one of the variables. We're doing a bit of mutation on the, on, on the data. And then if we, uh, if we run the whole thing, we can, so grabbing, grabbing the data. So that takes a couple of seconds run it, do the, do the munging, and then draw the chart. And you can see that kind of quite -ish quickly, um, it's drawn a chart there. So that's using the, the latest data that's available on statistics.gov.scot. So this is good for kind of local analysis, I guess. But one of the nice things about R is that you can kind of publish stuff, um, publish stuff to the web quite easily. Um, using a package called Shiny. So if I go back to um, back to Chrome, um, then I can show you that here. If I reload this, get rid of that. So I packaged up that code as a as a kind of a kind of a nice little web application that just publishes to the web. So we can see that here we've got properties.shinyapps.io Scott COVID. Every time somebody runs that it will go and fetch that latest data from statistics.gov.scot. So the idea is that with this sort of thing, you can build up these kind of dashboards, I guess, or similar, 
that are that are using the using the, the the data as it's published by Scottish government. So it kind of it takes care of itself. Um, I guess other examples of this maybe I suppose I'll do maybe let's see. Um, if we go to um, Python's probably another decent example of this. Um, so exactly the same way um, we're going and fetching the data. Um, so you know very similar to R. Um, but if we move that down, we can run this. Um, then it will go, it will fetch the data. It will um, do some more kind of munging of that data until ultimately we end up with um, with another chart, which I'm not sure whether it's going to show on the screen share. So you can see the data itself. I don't know if this is, this might not be being displayed actually. Oh, there we go. So there, so that's just rumbled that chart. So this is, you know, the, the number of patients in ICU. So again, this is the sort of thing that we could hook up to, say, Flask or, or similar. Um, and people could then, you know, kind of create these, these dashboards that, again, will, will sort of auto-update. Now, the reason, uh, I've also got a Tableau one as well, but um, so Tableau is a bit more complicated in that Tableau doesn't seem to connect automatically to data via URL. So we need to write a, a kind of a connector for this, which I've done. Um, I've put this on uh, on GitHub, but if you if you kind of have a look at the blog post, you can see how it's done. What I guess I'm interested in is I think that this is a this is a really powerful way of, of publishing data in this way, not just for um, for COVID, but anything where data sets are quite rapidly moving. So this is obviously on a daily basis. Um, other stuff, you know, that that kind of the idea of not having to go and fetch the data yourself, um, but you know that you can build stuff that takes care of itself, is obviously you know it's the way that we want to be going really. So um, I think you know being able to being able to sort of demonstrate this is one thing, but just seeing you know if people can make use of this kind of stuff um, to make stuff that's genuinely useful um, would start to you know it, it, the Scottish government put a lot of effort into doing this into you know designing the model for the data and going through the process of publishing it on a daily basis at the same time as the as the information is published on gov.scot so it'd be you know it'd be nice to give them a bit of love um and you know try and kind of do some stuff that that kind of makes use of, of their efforts and i think that's probably it from me